I think the buy-in um, from the team as a whole, uh, we've got a really strong group of incoming freshmen who are adding depth, um, youth, but depth. And the summer training has really paid off. I, it's evident now in our workouts uh, today. So this season we um, moved into the Lone Star Conference and so um, we're actually looking into like new PRs um, that are better than what we had last year because it's such a big conference. So we're kind of looking into actually like um, maybe qualifying for nationals. Um, I'm really looking forward to racing with my teammates again and also I'm really looking forward to seeing the freshmen race for the first time collegially. You know, an emphasis on consistency and on volume um, over the summer. So their mileage was up a little bit higher and that's allowed for this strong aerobic base. So now we can really start to build off of that, um, that base that they established on their own over the summer. Um, it, takes, it takes a baseline amount of fitness to really get to where you're strong enough to race and compete at the championship level. This summer there were a lot more um, weightlifting sessions um, and just a lot of core work and we had that in the past but this summer he made it very organized and um, we had specific workouts tailored for each one of us and that really helped us as a team to play on our strengths. The championship season is a lot different uh, and we've got to get there healthy. So I, I'm a firm believer if we get our athletes to the starting line healthy, they'll be able to represent St. Edwards to the best of our abilities. It's getting through a long season and getting to the championships healthy, that's key. The Lone Star Conference is very competitive and if we're ready to go and firing on all eight cylinders come October 26th, then I think we're gonna be in a good position to, to do well.